spiral is the natural form of growth. In Aiki, we see life and technique reflected in spirals. Aiki translates literally as I, which is harmony or accord, and Ki, which is nature or mind or energy. Uh, there's a really old story that was in the back of a book about Zen, and it was an even older story, in fact, it was an old Hindu story about a fish that went to a queen fish and said, what is the sea? And the queen fish said, you live in the sea, you eat in the sea, you breathe in the sea, you have your being in the sea, you were born in the sea and you're going to die in the sea. The sea surrounds you and is inseparable from your own being. Same thing about Aiki. It's, uh, uh, people often, I think, are confused and think that Aiki is a group of techniques. That's not really so. All natural movement is Aiki. Aiki, to a great extent, I believe, is the study of resonances as a creative force, and how by studying those resonances we are better able to understand the universe around us uh, and learn those lessons in a very physical way. Uh, so often, lessons are only understood intellectually. And one of the grand things about Aiki is that it's not just theory, it's, it's, uh, it's reality in our daily lives. The Aiki Institute, a nonprofit organization in the Seattle area, offers unique training combining the areas of practical self defense, meditation, and key development with the healing base. The purpose of the Aiki Institute is to teach and exemplify the practice of Kanagara, which means to be one with the flow of the universal. The emphasis of the Institute is a whole life approach to the development of Shizen Tai being a clear channel for key through coordinating mind and body, unifying body and spirit, and refining the person as a part of the universal. The goal of this training is to tune the physiological structure to be a better channel for key. We define key in this sense as the vibratory essence of heaven. We say that this state is Shizen Tai. That means an unobstructed state of being that's in flux or dynamic harmony with the processes of nature. Osensei Morihei Ueshiba, the founder of Aikido, said in his last official interview before his passing in 1969 that Aiki is the technique of ki and the subtle uses of kotodama. Kotodama implies uh, resonance of all things. He further said that he stood on Ame no Ukihashi. Ame no Ukihashi is the rainbow bridge. It's the meeting between matter and spirit. And so he was saying he stood while doing Aiki and doing the technique of Ki, he stood in the center of creation, the meeting place between matter and spirit. And he danced the Kaguramai, the Misogi Kata, for great love of all nations of the world.
Aiki Waza, or technique, reflects a smooth, continuous circularity that is without opening. Aiki develops great strength, yet it is a strength that is rooted in the principle of loving protection for all creation. This looks easy because when training properly, uh, it's easy to understand that everything happens first on energy body level, then on physical body level. Uh, if you're relaxed and centered, you're able to perceive the movements of the energy body and consequently you're always a beat in time ahead of the movements of the physical body. Uh, in Japan, the common example is uh, the young, very vigorous 30-year-old kendo men, uh, people who train with a sword, who kiai or shout very strongly and move about very, very, very quickly and the older, the 70-year-old man who seems almost half asleep and moves only one time, but when he moves it's just right and he's always there in time, in fact early. Uh, even Miyamoto Masashi, the greatest swordsman of all time, said that uh, to imply speed is a relative thing. If Fast or slow only implies whether or not things are in rhythm. When you understand the nature of movement, you always seem relaxed, and yet you're always there at the right time. When we chat about lines, what we're really referring to is angles of entry. Almost always there's what uh, in Budo is called ski. Ski means opening. Uh, and generally when someone extends their spirit in one direction, there's another angle that is uh, open. Uh, ideally in Aiki we develop, uh, we say, a circularity that is without opening. But that's very rare. And uh, so by understanding the angles of entry, we can usually move in in such a way where no opposition is set up. The great thing about that is aside from the fact that then the technique becomes easy for us, because there isn't a resonance of opposition, we're able to move our partner without harming them. Aikido training is analogous, we say, to the movements of the Aiki sword, the Aiki ken. And the purpose of the movements of the Aiki ken, we say, is kiri hiraku, to cut and open, it's to cut away delusional attachments and open a path for spiritual progress. Many forms of martial art training are what is called the satsu jin ken, that means the sword that kills. Uh, many forms of Budo training increase the distance between the practitioner and the world. Uh, the subject-object duality is increased. Aiki training, we strive for what is called the katsujin ken, the sword that gives life. Uh, old word for sword is tachi, and that means to cut. But an even older word for sword is tsurugi, and that means to join together or to connect. And the Aiki ken is the sword that brings things together, decreases the distance between us and the world, uh, heals all the different dichotomies, mind, body, yeah, self, others, man, universe, yeah, time, space, all the same. Oh. 
the Aiki Ken also is the Aiki Myo Ken. The Aiki Myo Ken means the marvelous sword, but it implies something that cannot be understood by the analytical mind. A uh, very, very famous Budo man named Sugino Sensei, an uh, old man now, I think, well into his 80s, said uh, a few years ago that when you first look at Aiki, if you can understand it, it's not Aiki. can or wooden sword and the jo or the short staff are very important uh, to Aiki training, uh, primarily for focus or kime. Even in Zen, which is uh, a very nonviolent discipline, a man of attainment is called a man of the sword. And the reason isn't because he wields a physical sword, but because he has uh, an immovable mind and the sort of focus that we associate with the use of a blade. I originally began training because I discovered uh, that my I was not just my body and that being more than my body I was interested in learning ways to expand my awareness of who I was and I find that Aikido meaning harmony of body, mind and spirit does do that for me. It expands my awareness of other parts of me on other levels and at the same time brings all of those into one unit that I practice while on the on the mat and then take with me in my life Aikido for myself is a, it's like a physical uh, manifestation of something that I've known in my heart. And that is, we are a lot more than just what we see in this physical shell. And I've read a lot about that and heard a lot of lectures about that, but nothing gives me a better or more affirmative verification than to physically feel something or to physically have results. And for myself, that's one of the main reasons I, I train. It's a continuous uh, physical affirmation of our greater being. Aiki mirrors nature. Uh, Tohei Sensei, a very, very incredible and fine Aikido man, said that uh, Aiki waza can be gentle as a spring breeze or severe as a winter storm. Also, on an energy level, uh, Aiki, or Kiwaza, 
mirrors of forces that hold our universe together. We have the centripetal forces, which manifest as attracting key, and we have the centrifugal forces, which manifest as expansive key. Also, with greater density or centripetal forces, we find we have a gravity effect or a very heavy weight underside effect. And these forces, either the centrifugal or expansive forces, or the centripetal or attracting or heavy forces, can be easily demonstrated. A lot of times people are concerned and make what I think is perhaps an arbitrary distinction about what is the difference between physical waza and ki waza. Uh, that whole mind-body dichotomy is an illusion. And uh, I think it's important for us to realize that. And also, even in terms of what we term ki waza, uh, people say it's touchless, but it's not touchless. There's always what is called ki musubi, or energy-body interaction. And that touching is every bit as real as uh, hanging on someone or leaning on somebody. For myself, uh, the feeling of being thrown by a ki is in many ways identical to being thrown, quote, physically. The only difference is, is my rational mind is shocked by it. A couple of experiences that um, affect me the most, I suppose, are the ones where the key or the energy, the, the contracted energy, the young guy's energy from my center is um, drawn out, which then draws my body. As the key goes first, then the body follows. <coughs> Um, so that's a very intense sort of experience of key. Mostly it's um, very invigorating, I might add. And um, I have a sense of health from the experience and aliveness. That. You know, there, uh, for me, it's just, it's just, it's, it's stuff I can't put into words. The Aiki training we practice here is also totally natural. In fact, it's easier to learn than uh, many other techniques because it's so totally natural going with the flow of the universal. Uh, consequently, it's actually easier to absorb. People learn quicker and uh, sometimes people try and learn what is arbitrary movement. Uh, that's very difficult. They have to study very, very, very hard to absorb arbitrary movement into themselves. But when working on natural movement, working with the natural spirals of energy in our universe, it comes to you much easier. Uh, your cells already know the story. Often people talk about soft Aiki training or hard Aiki training. I think the only difference is whether the training is based on fear or based on love. And I feel that appropriate Aiki training uh, heals both partners. I say partner rather than opponent because the Aiki mind is the one that sees past that subject-object duality. Uh, we have partners rather than opponents.
At the end of a training session, we chant the sound su u o a a e. Uh, there's a number of purposes. Uh, partially, we use that time to synchronize ourselves with each other and with the universe. The sound su is meant to harmonize ourselves with all peoples, places, and situations. And the Kotodama chant su u o a a e is meant to generate ki. If Aikido were only what took place on the mat, it would be of relatively little value. Uh, although the training on the mat, the physical technique, is uh, tremendously entertaining and there's a lot it teaches us, what it teaches us is how to live in the world.